Our forces have achieved many spectacular tactical victories near Guadalcanal since the start of this campaign. The most notable victory is the sinking of battleship Yamato. This has to be a massive blow to Japanese morale. Despite these successes, however, the strategic situation is rather grim. Our forces are battered and running low on ammo. In addition to this, our marines have yet to set foot on Guadalcanal. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series, playing as the United States. We are picking up pretty much where we left off in the previous episode. As you can see, our B-17s that bombed and sunk Battleship Yamato are making their way back home to the New Hebrides. We have Task Force 5 with all of our cargo ships and Task Force 1 right back here, which is kind of obstructed by that little Kingfisher, but that's alright. I think we are going to attempt to land on Guadalcanal tonight, and I know I've said that multiple times, but I have a pretty good feeling about tonight. <laughs> we shall see. I think after this initial invasion with Task Force 5, we're going to ferry supplies to Rental Island with cargo ships, and then from there we will use fast destroyers to bring supplies to Guadalcanal uh, under the cover of darkness. It's only 140 nautical miles away as the bird flies, so um, I think it'll be a pretty easy trip and maybe we'll be able to make multiple runs a night? I don't know, we'll see how that plays out. We're going to have Task Force 5 kind of head this way, I think, for the time being. The problem is we do have that Japanese carrier task force operating to the north of the Solomon Islands, along with this little submarine out here. <laughs> I don't know how we see that guy. And then there is also the task force battleship Yamato was operating with, which I don't remember its exact composition, but it was nothing to scoff at. That's for sure. I think it had like two heavy cruisers, maybe three. And then we have the task force uh, that Task Force 1 just engaged in the previous episode, and that had two heavy cruisers, I believe. So, yeah, a lot of, lots of Japanese firepower out near the Guadalcanal area. And uh, we have 57 command points to play with, so I think we are going to grab... Uh, we're going to make a quick little task force here. I'm thinking mostly light cruisers and destroyers just so we have something fast and nimble. And maybe we'll even load supply and troops on them and just bring them to Rental Island first before they uh, go and operate near Guadalcanal. Okay, well that's the current situation. Uh, just a little breakdown of the losses so far for anyone who's curious. We have lost uh, three ships, 5,000 tons and four aircraft. Uh, just three little destroyers there. The Japanese are definitely worse off. Tactically, we've been doing really well. Uh, one light cruiser, two heavy cruisers. Oh, no. One destroyer, Battleship Yamato, which makes up a giant chunk, chunk of the total tons lost. And uh, a Fubuki and another uh, Kuma class uh, light cruiser. So, yeah, we're doing pretty well in the tactical battles. The problem is just the overwhelming numbers uh, that the Japanese have at the moment in the game. Well folks, I have completed the construction of our task force here. We have three destroyers and two light cruisers. So a nice quick little force that hopefully can go and you know find enemy transports, enemy destroyers, and sink those. Also with the Atlanta class here, we'll be able to put up some uh, decent anti-aircraft fire. We have a development, two destroyers, one light cruiser, and two heavy cruisers in the area. This has to be the task force we just recently engaged. And I'm thinking, these guys are going to loiter around the Guadalcanal area unless we attack. So I'm going to get in there and uh, be somebody. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack them. Task Force 5 is still moving up. B-17s are returning home. Okay, just checking in on everybody. I launched all of our float planes at once, so most of them are heading back home. But we have a couple in the area. Let's bring them up here. And uh, both of these Kingfishers actually have two... 100 pound bomb, so maybe they can do something a little exciting with those as we track uh, this uh, this force, and it seems like they are running, which is interesting. Hmm. I'm not going to track them all the way into the New Georgia Sound, but uh, I may track them to maybe the northern tip of Guadalcanal and uh, 
see what other uh, Japanese forces we can kind of expose in the area. Okay, they are, they've turned around. They want to fight, so they're going to get one. All right, New Orleans is ready to launch some aircraft. Let's go ahead and launch one. Oh, she doesn't have any more available. That's fine then. Um, a lot of our kingfishers here do have bombs. Let's make sure they are all over the, the battlefield here. Uh, this guy does not have any bombs, so he can go up north searching near Savo Island. All right, there we go. We have made contact. Weather scattered. Time is 1148, sea state 6. Um, let's check our formation. Line ahead formation. Destroyers are in the lead, I'm assuming. Let's check. Yep, one, two, three. All right, right down. Atlanta, despite being a light cruiser, is actually our slowest ship right now due to her relatively heavy damage. So she will be in the rear. Okay, well, this is it, folks. Um, let's space out. Avoid those uh, torpedoes. They have two destroyers. Yeah, I think everything here probably has torpedoes. <laughs> uh, so we do want to space out to avoid those 100 yards apart. Okay. All right. Enough. Uh, enough rambling. Let's uh, let's get in there. And here's our formation. We want to uh, first off split everyone up, and we will make uh, different formations here. Break. All right, Gridley, Dewey, and Craven are gonna form up. Have our destroyers in a separate group. Portland, New Northampton, New Orleans, and Atlanta form up. Uh, can we change the color purple? Yeah, look at that. I love me some purple. All right, make sure everyone has their radar on. Wanna be sure that is on. That's our main advantage right now. Thing we're not engaging at night <laughs> and the Japanese would definitely have the advantage then all of our kingfishers are in the area all right this guy's uh, heading towards Guadalcanal let's bring him back down south and these kingfishers wow okay here they are now how do we want to handle this I could bring our destroyers north and uh, Portland, Northampton, New Orleans and Atlanta can kind of turn west and uh, cross the T all right, destroyers, let's go ahead and ring up um, 35 knots. I think all of you will be able to make that rather easily. 35, change course, start heading northwest. Portland and your group, you're going to kind of head off this way. And I bet they're already uh, starting to engage. Yeah, they are. Are these the targets I want you to engage, though? That's, uh, that's the question here. Let's see what we are working with. Okay, two heavy cruisers, number three and number four. So cruisers are going to engage. So Portland, let's see. Do we want to engage four? Looks like a Mogami. Okay, yeah, engage her. And we can identify her as Mogami. Yeah, most definitely. Let's flip over here. We're paused right now, just while we uh, set up everything. Mogami class, yeah, and that's probably the most dangerous thing here, I think. They have the other heavy cruiser here. That's tiny little funnel, what the heck is that? Uh, Furutaka or something? Um, my Japanese ship identification skills are still rather poor. Okay, yeah, definitely. All right, there we go. So Northampton, you will engage her. Make sure you are engaging when I want you to engage. Attack, armor piercing, full spreads narrow spot initially, so we don't go wasting a whole lot of ammo. Jeez, these waves are really loud. Okay. <laughs> New Orleans will engage Mogami, and then everyone else uh, doesn't really matter. All right. Okay. All right. Let it rip. Okay, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Okay, we have destroyers in the lead. Do I want Atlanta to go for the destroyers or do I want her to begin engaging this light cruiser? That's a tough one. Um, yeah, Atlanta, begin engaging that light cruiser for now. Fire at will, I'm not too worried about it. Let's, uh, let's identify this target while we are thinking about it. Triple stacker, lots of guns, Akuma? 
Um, these look exactly the same. On, uh, uh, I don't think there's any difference here. Oh. Uh, we'll just go with uh, Kuma class. We've already sunk one, so... I guess it's fair to think... Uh, there's another one up here. Okay, we are engaging everything. We want to be in destroyers, begin working on the destroyers for now. I want to get our destroyers in a position to uh, drop torpedoes. Our kingfishers. Uh, <laughs> attack. Okay, go for... You two go for Kuma. Yeah, a couple of hundred pound bombs on that light cruiser. I mean, you know, maybe we'll do something. We have one going for the Furataka. If we can start some fires and, you know, maybe take out a turret, that would be delightful. Probably wishful thinking. Do you have any bombs, my friend? Oh, you do. All right. Yes, and you are going for Furataka. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Brave little kingfishers. I believe in you. Um, we still have... Oh, gosh. There's a zero. Just one zero. He does have bombs, which is less than ideal. Okay, Northampton, what the hell are you out of ammo? Okay, you still have AP and secondaries? Okay, secondary guns are out of, looks like high explosive. Fire armor piercing, please, fire armor piercing. Make sure all of you are firing armor piercing on your secondaries. Stop that, fire at Mogami. Okay, you are engaging Mogami. Make sure you are engaging Mogami and you should be engaging the Kuma. Stop that. Furataka was hit by a bomb. All right, let's look at the Kuma here. Oh, and she's on fire. Okay, two bombs splashed right next to the Kuma. All right, Kingfishers are out of here. Hey, we hit the heavy cruiser though, and she is on fire. I do have that going for us. Okay, I just wanna be sure everyone's engaging what I want them to be engaging. They're engaging that aircraft. I stop engaging that. Fire at uh, number two. Yeah, I'm not worried about the aircraft. Don't waste ammo on the aircraft if it's a little uh, a little Jake. Okay. All right, we can go ahead and begin identifying this destroyer. Looks like four turrets. May flip past it here. Minikaze. Yeah, let's go with that. Lots of torpedoes, not a fan. Okay, our kingfishers are getting out of here. Furitaka has quite the fire breaking out. Um, should I transition? Northampton, you are engaging her. New Orleans, yeah, we'll keep this. Let's, uh, let's turn a little more west, or southwest-ish. West-southwest. Stupid plane. All right. And this is looking okay for a torpedo run, as long as our destroyers are not being primaried by any of the heavy cruisers. They're probably being shot at by uh, some of the destroyers, but... Atlanta, how are you doing? What's going on back here? You're engaging the freaking plane. Are you really? I can't tell. Orders. Uh, don't, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, go back to targeting the ship. She was engaging the plane. Yeah, I can't say. Maybe when that zero comes in, we can engage that. And this guy does have some bombs, which may cause some uh, trouble. Taka's turning around. Okay, I'm thinking Northampton. Mm-mm-mm. Portland. Yeah, okay. And targeting her with that. Yeah, target with both. And begin firing. Stop spotting. Stop spotting. We have them kind of where we want them. Narrow spreads. Fire. New Orleans. Full spreads. You're only at 44%. Atlanta. Let's go. Okay. Start firing. We were not firing earlier. Make sure you're not spotting anymore. Full just gotta triple check and make sure they're engaging the plane again. They're engaging that zero, that's fine. That guy actually poses a threat. 
How is the enemy fleet looking? Fire looks to be under control. Yeah, we're not causing too much damage just yet. Hey, you want to engage that zero? Maybe your gunner can shoot it down? Oh yeah, your gunner's shooting at him. Zero's way up there. Yeah. Okay, starting to get pretty close. Oh, nice hits right there on the Furataka. Let's watch the Zero fly over our formation. Look at that. All of our destroyers closing in. You can see Atlanta just lagging behind. I wonder what her actual speed is. Anyway, it looks like the Zero's trying to bomb uh, Portland. And uh, I guess it's gonna level bomb. Atlanta, yeah, her, her top speed 12 knots. Yeah, she's in a world of hurt, unfortunately, for her. Okay, Kingfisher, start circling. All right. Okay, she dropped her bombs. Let's see. See if she gets any hits with those bombs. A shell splashing nearby. Ooh, okay, yeah, we were hit. Yeah, direct hit by a bomb. Damage report? Pretty minor, okay. <laughs> I guess we were lucky with that fire. Okay, let's begin changing course. And you know what? Deploy smoke, start laying some smoke. And you know what I want you to do? Stop targeting that, begin targeting heavy cruiser. You stop targeting, you target Mogami. And you know what? You target Mogami as well. Let's get all of you looking at Mogami. We'll prepare to drop our fish here in a moment. Um, do I want to deploy smoke on all three destroyers? Yeah. No, no. We're okay. It looks like the smoke is covering all of us. Good stuff. Oh, geez. Mogami has a rather large fire on her stern. Okay, Gridley, range 1,200 yards. I mean, that's still kind of far. Yeah, let's get closer. Just everyone deploy smoke. I want to ensure hits. I don't want to just waste our torpedoes. All right, start laying smoke. Just avoid getting uh, blown to bits. Okay, looking at this, I think it's time to drop our torpedoes. Let's turn north. Get an arc. We're going to drop all of our torpedoes. Let's see. We'll do a three degree spread on Gridley. We are in arc. Rotor our midships. Let's wait. All right. Fire. Let them have it. We also have torpedoes on our starboard side that we can launch as well. We'll swing around and try to do that in a bit. Okay, Gridley has dropped hers. Dewey, your turn. We'll do a thicker spread, six degrees. Fire. Okay, seeing the tubes swing out. Never gets old seeing that way. I wish you could uh, hear the noise of them uh, being launched, but... Like the compressed air. Okay. Dewey, hers are away. Craven. Even thicker spread, eight degrees. And you are going for Mogami fire. I just love seeing that. All right. Okay, torpedoes away. All right, Gridley, time to start turning around. Actually, make this a little more aggressive, shall we? And, uh, and that Minikaze looks like she has dropped torpedoes. Uh, begin targeting her, switch targets, switch targets now. Switch to something you can really hurt. Okay, Every, all of our destroyers are engaging that. How's the Kuma doing? She looks okay. These heavy cruisers, it looks like uh, the Furataka is deploying smoke. Yeah, she's deploying smoke and she is uh, 
<laughs> actually on fire, which is great. Unfortunately, they are changing course right as I launch my torpedoes, which is classic. Uh, looks like their formation is turning around, though, and maybe heading away. Be interested to... Ooh! Ow. Oh, gosh. Okay, poor Gridley. All right. Um... Break formation. Dewey and Craven form up. Get the hell out of here. Flank speed, 37 knots. Hopefully you both can do that. Gridley. Oh boy. You know what, Dewey, actually head north. Blanket Gridley with smoke. She's gonna have to slow down just a little bit. What's her speed? 17 knots. Okay, lots of fires. I'll be surprised if she survives that. What a hit, oh my gosh. She has launched her other torpedoes, which is fine. Okay, let's make sure Dewey doesn't actually hit those fish. All right, there we go. Cover her with smoke. Good work. All right. Okay, it's time to time to get out of here. You're being primaried now. Hard to starboard. I need to manage my destroyers a bit better. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I have a habit of getting them sunk. Let's check on Portland. She's okay. She's just she's just shooting. All right. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, begin targeting her. Stop, target her. You target her as well. Let's see if we can fire off more torpedoes. Oh, poor Gridley. All right, Craven, just break formation, break formation. You turn south as well. We're going to try to launch even more torpedoes here. I don't know. We may get hits on uh, the Furutaka. Be interesting. Oh, rudder image ships, Portland. How's Mogami looking? Mogami looks okay. I think if there's one that we may sink, it's her. Okay, check on our destroyers. Okay, she just launched her torpedoes, unfortunately. Okay, well that's fine. She launched them, but that did not look like a good launch. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Gridley, poor Gridley. I think she may be lost. Damage report, yeah, fire's spreading. Northampton, you're engaging her. Okay, Portland. All right, we'll see. These torpedoes actually look like uh, they may strike home here. Like this spread looks pretty darn good. All right, and okay, she is getting just absolutely destroyed. Switch to Mogami. Portland's gonna switch. I'm confident in that torpedo spread. Maybe we can get uh, at least one and that should do her. This torpedo spread looks okay as well for Mogami. I don't know. It just creates hazards. We'll see. Portland's on fire. Let's check on Gridley. Yeah, that magazine explosion. That's that's rough. These torpedoes are looking good, though. Let's see how they do. Oh, man. <laughs> she is just getting... Oh boy, very, uh, she's, she's in a pretty tough spot right now. I think that's a mild way of putting it. And uh, things are about to get a little worse, as long as they're not all duds. It'd be fantastic if we just strike her with a torpedo and it finishes, finishes her off completely. Look how low she is in the water as well. All right, torpedoes are closing in on the target. There they go. Are we gonna get a hit? 
Look at that. Duds? Hits? Oh, is she going to thread all of these? One in the stern? Oh my gosh. You are a very, a very lucky ship. Wow. Okay. Very, very lucky indeed. Well, we're closing in on her. Oh, oh, are all of her guns still firing or... See, are any of her main batteries firing? I don't think, okay, it looks like the rear turret may actually be, yeah, engaging. We may get a torpedo hit on the destroyer. I don't know, I'm not confident in very many of the destroy, uh, torpedoes at this point. Oh boy, what a battle. One destroyer for one heavy cruiser. Let's check on Gridley. Craven, what's going on? Damage report, not good. Putting it bluntly. All right, let's run away. Try to get out of here. Oh my goodness. Mogami is sailing into our torpedo spread. She can't see anything. <laughs> All this smoke. Oh boy, I think I think she may eat one. We'll see if, yeah, that is good. She may eat two. I'm just checking our damage here. And this is other spread. I mean, if she slows down enough. All right, folks, this is it. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, dud. Dud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, that is my day's ruined. Let's see in this Kuma. Let's see if we get anything right on the bow. Give me something. Dud. <laughs> oh boy. That's pretty funny. I'm not even like, <laughs> oh. Oh, just a mat. If those would have hit, like that would have been uh, fantastic. That's for sure. This Kuma may eat this other spread back here. I don't know. If those if those would have hit, that would have been uh, devastating. I have a feeling. Looks like she's gonna thread this needle. Mogami's starting to take some serious damage though. I have two of our heavy cruisers engaging her, and one is just focusing on the Furotaka now, uh, which is pretty much just dead in the water. Uh, our destroyers are fleeing the scene of the crime. Gridley is just back here. Oh, poor girl. Yeah. I mean, the fires are kind of getting under control, but damage... Oh, she's... We sunk one. She's going down. Okay, let's pause real quick. Make sure... Okay, yeah. Transition to Mogami. Transition to Mogami. Yes, please. And, uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, we can turn this around. This Japanese destroyer is a little worrisome. Minakaze, she's almost undamaged. Okay, Atlanta, stop targeting her and target that. Engage, fire, fire and arrow. I'm sure we'll build that solution up rather quickly. And uh, you fire at it too. You fire at it as well. Despite, I mean, our destroyers are just getting butchered. Mogami looks almost, yeah, she's almost dead in the water now. I think we may bag two heavy cruisers. Here we have it, folks. 
Mogami is going down. That is heavy cruiser number two. This has turned out to be quite the tactical victory already. I think the only thing we are close to losing is Gridley at this point. Um, and even then, it seems like they're kind of getting her under control. I mean, maybe, maybe not. It still looks pretty damn rough here. Um, let's slow her up. Let's slow down. Just, I'll stop. Um, Dewey, what's your situation? Yeah, just three fires. Okay, that's just three fires. You know, that's fine. That's, that's okay. Um, everyone's engaging Kuma now. Oh, geez. Portland is looking pretty rough. Critical damage. Shit. Okay, she needs to get out of here. Oh, we may lose Portland. I kind of figured she was uh, holding her own. I don't know, Kuma's getting fucked up pretty fast, though. This Minikaze is getting uh, attacked by New Orleans, who's engaging her, and uh, Northampton's engaging the Kuma as well. Yeah, poor Portland. She's going to have to go after this, that's for sure. <sighs> yeah, what a shame. What a shame. But this Kuma, what she... I mean, she's already engulfed in flames, getting hit multiple times, has a pretty severe list to port. Yeah, oh my gosh, brutal. Okay, well, we shall see how this goes. Um, if we lose Portland, magazine explosion on the Minikaze. Ow. Hey, you like them apples. It's pretty much a mopping up operation and waiting and seeing if we are going to lose any of our uh, ships. Another brief update, the Minikaze is going down. Well, there we have it, folks. The Kuma is destroyed, and uh, our battered force seems to be victorious now. One destroyer got away. There is one Japanese destroyer out there somewhere. Um, Portland's in pretty rough shape, but I think we're going to be able to get this under control. Uh, she's going to have to go home. She'll probably go back with Atlanta at this point. Honestly, all these ships need to go. <laughs> um... Dewey's okay, Craven is okay. It looks like one uh, gun is knocked out. Gridley, how are you doing? I mean, she is dead in the water. We'll see, I think she may sink. We'll see if we can get this damage under control here, but I have a feeling it may be futile. At least I'll be able to abandon ship on uh, and uh, get picked up here. But yeah, overall, a pretty good victory. It would have been nice if our torpedoes actually hit something. It probably would have spared Portland some serious damage. We're going to slow her down as well. We don't need to be steaming, and uh, we will check out damage control, and uh, hopefully we can get all this fixed up. American damage control uh, is capable of miracles because Gridley uh, is saved. The fires have stopped. I mean, she is flooded. She, I mean, she is just absolutely torn up. But she is afloat, and it doesn't look like she is going to sink. Portland is uh, getting better as well. I mean, look at that. I mean, golly, she took an absolute beating. But if we go to damage... It, more or less, it's okay. Damage is critical, though. She can't keep fighting. She has to go back. So, uh, at least Portland and Gridley need to go back. I may keep Atlanta in the area, despite her abysmal turn rate, 20%, because her rudder is all screwed up. And her uh, speed, I mean, is rather poor. Maybe I should bring her, take her home. I don't know. I may keep her for just a little bit longer until that other cruiser force gets up here. Um, anyway, let's see the report. And here we have it. Pretty darn good. Um, critical damage on Gridley and critical on Portland. And uh, everything else is moderate to minor. 
and we destroyed four enemy ships. Furutaka and Mogami both sunk. That is outstanding. 28,000 tons sent down to the bottom. They had four aircraft, and I guess we shot one down, so cool. 21 command points gained. Um, I think the cheapest heavy cruiser we can afford, it's 22, though, so that kind of sucks, but... Um, maybe we'll get more destroyers <laughs> to replace uh, these guys. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.